My name is Tim Beatley. Normally I'm a professor at the University of Virginia, and we're working on a film about cities that build a sense of connection, a sense of, of contact with this marine world in which we're embedded. We're the blue planet, but we're also the urban planet. As scientists, we're just now starting to understand the neurophysiology and the neurochemistry and the psychology of why this feels so damn good. It really is that reset button. It's a way to easily access, I guess, the therapeutic nature of being out. Usually we do a one-day program with students and half the day is in the water and the other half is in the lab. The children get off the bus in the morning and they're pushing and shoving and by the time they leave, they're quiet, they're listening for birds' noises, they've learned about marine debris and how close we are to the ocean. The whole purpose here is to connect people to water. We've come up with a design that sort of referenced water so you could sort of feel a little more connected even though we're sort of in the middle of a concrete jungle here. Mr. Trash Wheel is a one-of-a-kind trash interceptor. It's a solar and hydro-powered device that cleans up trash out of the river. Seafood is something that is part of our everyday conversations. Where did that fish come from and how was it caught? How sustainable is that fish? I would like to, to dream of an economy in which uh, we're all locavores. Consumers want to know more about where their food is coming from. Doing the right thing is also good for the economy. We're going to be facing pretty, pretty extreme sea level rise in places like Miami. Everywhere. Everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Sea level will be rising a foot per decade. And it's not going to stop. The only honorable thing is to help people understand the reality of what's coming up. I didn't realize what's, what we're in the store for. I didn't realize that um, it's creeping up on us a lot faster than we think. We can never win from Mother Nature, so it's better to learn how to live with water. So let's use the public space and redesign it so it can become uh, more attractive, uh, but at the same time uh, adaptive. It's not for pipes and pumps, but for places and people. Here we are in the middle of this uh, uh, floating neighborhood. It's uh, really important to simply to be inspired in designing your own solutions that are going to work in your own political system, that are going to work in your own culture. Water gives us life, it makes life possible, but it also makes life worth living.